Today I'm working on a ProScan LED LCD TV. This TV came in here completely dead and the first thing I noticed was that the fuse right here was open. It's a slow blow 5 amp fuse. Anytime you see an open fuse there's a good chance you're going to find a short to ground. Not always but it's pretty common. Anyway I started checking some of the transistors and regulators and looking for short circuits and I found a couple MOSFETs here that were shorted. There's the number of the MOSFETs their location was Q1F and Q2F. Anyway, I went ahead and I ordered these two MOSFETs, put them in, TV came on, I was real happy, and then I noticed I, was, I scanned to see if there's any overheating on the board. I always like to do that because sometimes you can have a problem that caused these transistors to go bad in the first place. You want to make sure you address that so you don't have a repeat failure and the customer will bring the TV back. Anyway, I began scanning and I noticed the uh, two resistors here were extremely hot and so was one of the diodes here. And so I, I quickly uh, plugged it into my watt meter to see if I was drawing excessive current. Now if you look at the back label on, on the TV, a lot of times it will tell you how much power the TV is supposed to use. Here it says 105 watts. So I went ahead and I plugged it into my watt meter right here and there's 105 watts right there and uh, instead of being at 105 watts it was drawing 125 watts so that was 20 watts in excess of the power the TV should be consuming and so I uh, did a little troubleshooting found the diode here had gone bad uh, location of the diode in fact let me point at it this looks like it's a second diode here from the top location was D5F it had shorted out and the number of the diode was UF5404. Now what surprised me is even with a shorter diode, this TV came on and I didn't see any problem on the display. I mean, there would have been a problem if I left it in there long enough, as hot as everything was getting. And uh, by the way, this is the output. It looks like this is the output right here for the LED lights. And I guess it, these four diodes probably form a bridge rectifier coming off this transformer here. So anyway, it looks like we're in business now. Double checked uh, the watt meter after I put the new diode in and uh, it was a little bit over 105 watts, but not to the point where I'm terribly concerned about it at this point. So anyway, it looks like we've got another successful repair. Hope you found the video helpful and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up.